So this is a bit of a different how-to. This is not necessarily one I get asked a lot, but something that I felt was really important to actually talk on. And that's how to send a cock shot. Um, no, please do not send me any more. Now, one of the things being a sexologist is, and I think anybody, when you put yourself out there online and you're accessible to the general public, is that there are some human beings that think that sending a cock shot is fun. Um, just a little bit of information around that. For any of those people that are sending me cock shots or other people that are unwanted and unwelcomed, please know that most of the time we open up those messages in disgust, we make fun of the, the look of your penis and we send it on to our friends also with the intent to make fun of it. It's not a positive. I know for a lot of people they get off on this idea of the shock that I'm sending my penis out there, that it's naughty, that it's forbidden. Okay, I understand that one aspect, but um, for most of us that receive unwanted cock shots, it is humor and pity that is really looked upon with those shots. So just a little bit of an FYI on that one. But if you are someone that wants to engage in some sexting or even sending photos of your penis or any other genitals to someone else, I think the biggest thing is permission. Now it's kind of a bit different for me actually to be giving advice on how to send a cock shot, but I'm also quite a realistic sexologist and I understand that this is something that a lot of people want to do and it's something that a lot of people engage in. So instead of just completely dissing this behavior, I think we need to work within it and find a way that it can be consensual and respectful. So ask permission. Now there's a few different ways that you can do that. You can blatantly ask somebody, hey, I'd like to send you a cock shot. Would you like to receive it? There's one way. Um, You can also test the waters. You know, you might be sending them a photo of a part of your body that's not as confronting, but it's testing the waters as to whether they're comfortable with nudity or not. You might say to them, I really would love to engage in some sexting with you. Do you feel comfortable to send me a partly naked photo or a photo of a body part of yours? You can warm into that by saying to someone, you know, I'd really like to engage in this type of behavior with you. How comfortable are you at engaging with that with me? So please understand that there we're starting to test the waters to see is this something that is actually welcomed? Um, now, one thing that has been sent to me before, which I actually think actually think is hilarious, is when people put objects in front of their genitals and then send the photo. Um, and they make funny comments like, would you like to see what's behind this? Or, you know, they strategically place something you know, in the right position so you don't see the things that you might not want to see quite yet. Um, using humor sometimes, but also that's a way to ask permission. Um, You have every right if someone sends you that photo to say, thanks, that's really funny, but that's just not for me. And if anybody does send me photos like that, I will be responding with respect, but I will be responding with a very hard no. So, you know, it is a way to test the waters. It is a way of kind of using humor, but you still need to respect if someone says to you, no, I don't want to be sexting with you. I don't want to engage in that type of behavior. I think that consent is a huge thing these days and it's not just about when we're physically being intimate with somebody but it's also our online world as well. I understand that sexting and cock shots are a part of our society these days, they're a part of our dating culture, Um, it's a part of our social media but it doesn't always mean that it's respectful or right. Um, It's not always nice really when you open up um, a direct message on something and there's this penis staring at you in the face. For a lot of heterosexual women, and I'm not speaking for everybody, but unless you know the person behind the penis, it can feel a bit gross and we don't want to particularly see it. For me, I find it really disrespectful because I have a partner and here I am opening up a message um, with this erect penis staring at me in the face. Um, I do have other people that work for me and sometimes they check these messages and they've been in situations as well where um, they've been sitting on public transport and also in relationships and they've gone through messages and there's a cock shot from somebody sending it to one of my platforms. So I just think we can have a lot of fun these days, but let's be respectful. Let's be consensual. And if you are wanting to send a cock shot, why not test the waters or ask someone first? So I hope that helps and please know that you can have a lot of fun, you can have a lot of naughty sexy fun, but consent, boundaries and respect are a huge part of that. Now, if you have a how-to that you would like me to talk about or you've got an Ask Dr. Nikki, please head over to my Facebook page. You can ask me anything and please don't send me cock shots.